I study and teach about human relationships, ideals of social equality, their relationship to freedom and other moral and political ideals. I'm Elizabeth Anderson. I'm a philosopher. I started off as an undergraduate interested in economics and found that economics was making all kinds of assumptions that had moral content, but which it wasn't really able to justify or understand. And that drove me into philosophy because that's the place where we do think seriously about our normative concepts. So most of my work since then has been at the intersection of philosophy, economics, and the other social sciences. I'm a pragmatist in the tradition of John Dewey. Dewey thought that we should do philosophy by starting from problematic human experiences, thinking about what they mean for people and finding remedies for the problems that people have in their lives. Primarily what I'm looking at is how social inequality manifests in different dimensions of life and through certain group identities, including race, class, gender, sexual orientation, and to see how we can reconfigure our social relations on a plane of equality to enable everyone to flourish. Consider some facts about how employers today control their workers. My latest book, Private Government, How Employers Rule Our Lives and Why We Don't Talk About It, is about inequality in workplace relationships, how most workers are working under the domination of their employers, what makes that experience problematic for a lot of people. About half of U.S. employees have been subject to suspicionless drug screening by their employers. Millions are pressured by their employers to support particular political causes or candidates. These are the kind of problematic experiences that I think we need to address in the workplace. Right now, I'm working on the history of the Protestant work ethic and what it means for workers today. I draw a lot on sociology, social psychology, and history in doing my philosophy. History especially is illuminating because where we are today is a product of ideas that we've inherited often from hundreds of years ago. So you dig back into the origins of these ideas and it helps illuminate why we have the habits of thought we have today, which might not be well adjusted to current experience. I want to help the public understand and where we are and what we might make of ourselves in the future. Open up possibilities uh, that perhaps have not been thought of before. I think that's one of the jobs of philosophers. We don't solve problems in the short term, but philosophers often inject ideas that have remarkable staying power and that can build over time. Mm -hmm.